Hey there, everybody. My name is Luther. This is Luther Plays Games, and this is the quite loud at the beginning. What remains of Edith Finch? Um, this is our first game on the Xbox Series X, which this game is not exactly going to test the limits of the Xbox Series X, but uh, we're going to try it out. And a lot of this isn't going to make sense you know, to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I've kind of been curious about this game for a while, and it turns out that it's available as part of the game pass. So between that and the fact Someone that it's short... Someone had put up a link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Um... We're going to go ahead and give this a My shot and see what we think. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Not sure how I feel about the crown. So I know that this is going to be kind of a change of pace. This is supposed to be more of a like narrative-driven, story-based game. So I, I don't lived think... here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I don't think there's any combat, uh, maybe some light puzzling, some stuff like that, but uh, mostly a story-based game. So we're just going to kind of appreciate the, the experience. Inside the bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. And I should point out, actually, I've played these first, like, two or three minutes, like, several will, times. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Trying to get... I keep looking over at the camera. Maybe she the thought camera. I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Just kind of trying to get the audio and the visual settings dialed in. It's still a little on the dark side, but... If I bring up the brightness too much, it kind of washes out, so... We'll try this for the first episode and see how it goes. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. So I scared the deer away the first time I went ahead and walked this far. I want to know how close I can get to him. Oh. Okay. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. So my understanding of the way this game is set up is that it's broken into several um, different character narrations. If you hit the um, Y button, you can see kind of a family tree going all the way back to 1880. And I, my understanding is that we jump into some of these characters at various points. So I think what I'm going to do is keep the episodes the by exactly character. Like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Um, the whole game isn't supposed to be much more than about three hours, and basically we're going to more of those missing posters. Um, this will be done by Friday, even if that means longer episodes or extra episodes, because Saturday we are starting with Elden Ring. As a child. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. So what I'd be worried about now, if nobody's been here in seven years, is putting a foot through one of these boards. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I mean, that doesn't really look architecturally sound.
I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Okay. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. So basically what seems to happen is when something white, an action pops up on the screen, the right trigger sort of enacts it, and then you can use the right thumbstick to sort of manipulate things, but... The game has not admitted it's a game enough to give me any instructions yet, so... Alright then. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. the workbench to customize your guns. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh, it's coming through the skylights, okay. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Really? But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. So he was 22? 88, 98, 08, yeah. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. I assume we took Molly with us when we moved out. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. I really want to read Flour, Salt, Water, Yeast. I'll be disappointed if that's not a real book. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Holy cow, look at all the books. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What in the world? Spray phone shut? Can I look through this? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Well, how come I can't get in? I want in there. Alright, let's not go upstairs yet. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Looks like they thought about packing. Don Finch living room. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. After it sank. Which one is Edie? So if this is Edith talking, Edie was Grandma, maybe? 1917 to 2010? Great-grandma? The 
table was still a wreck from the night we left. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Great Grandma. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay, so back around to the kitchen. We can't get downstairs, so let's see what's upstairs. Can I use this? Probably not. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> None of that is normal. Wow, that's a lot of family pictures. You're creepy. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, look at that. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. All right, let's go ahead and go in here first. Kind of want to explore the rest of the house a little bit more, but. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Oh, I think we all know you don't but have a plan. I have no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Is that? No, that's a... T that's a roll of toilet paper, okay. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. But Molly's gerbil is dead, right? It's not like... Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. We didn't eat the gerbil, did we? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh god, we are eating the gerbil food. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing. My Halloween candy was all gone. Don't eat the fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Thank you. We don't want to be in there. Okay. So for the record, it's as dark in the game as it is on the video right now. I kept eating and eating. Oh honey, don't eat toothpaste. I ate a lot 
lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Right, are we gonna it eat was the a bird? Barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. Okay, unexpected. I'm hitting buttons just to see if anything happens. Oh, okay, there's... I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I think I'm going to catch this bird. I don't know, maybe I will. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> I gobbled her up. Oh, God. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. It's a big owl. Oh, this is so weird. A mama rabbit. Where? I get it, I got it. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. That's unfortunate. This is not where I thought I this was going to go. Cliff and into the ocean. All right. Now I was hungrier than ever. Oh God, controls are inverted. Did I 
miss her? Like, I'm only partially in control of the movement. Oh, are we a snake now? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. We're just a tentacle beast of some sort. I'm staying quiet mostly because I'm fascinated. Like I'm not I have no idea what to think of this right now. I was still hungry. Across the water I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Okay. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Very imaginative kid. Let's assume that's what's going on. I got closer and closer. Okay, so we're back in her bedroom now. Go up there. Is this what happened to the gerbil? All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me. Asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> oh, Molly. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay, uh, we're gonna take the autosave and the 25 minute mark. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. 
yeah. We're going to go ahead and call this an episode. I am fascinated. Like, if it sticks to this level of being interesting, this is going to be something really special. So, if you're having as much fun as I am, leave a like and a subscribe. You may have to mess up the colors a little bit. That looks awful saturated. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends. We will be back soon with more from uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. <laughs>